Hey everybody, Jeanette here. I wanted to do a very long one of this on Jack the Ripper. Um, I know exactly, exactly, basically what happened and I want to share that with everybody to close the case. Uh, one thing, there was nobody called Jack the Ripper. That was made up. The Queen's surgeon, Sir William Gull, was a Freemason, okay? So I believe the ladies of the evening, they were led to uh, another place. They were murdered, probably real, uh, ritualistically. And uh, then I believe the bodies were given to the students at the college. And in order to um, become Freemasons themselves. They had to do the rituals, which uh, led to them disposing of the bodies after they studied them. Some of the organs were removed with the skill of a surgeon, they said, and that fits in with students learning how to do that sort of thing. When the bodies were found, there was not hardly any blood anywhere, so that tells you they were murdered some other place. Um, two of the ladies were put one down one street, and within minutes there was another one placed down another street. And how is this done so fast? Well, it is, you know, a group effort. There's several of them doing it, probably two different carriages dropping them off. Could be or carts, but they get away faster with a, a carriage. It would be easy if you de uh, disguise yourself as someone that delivered coal and you had a, you know, coal cart and had a body underneath a, a blanket, you know, that you could do it like that real easy. Also, nobody would think anything of it. Oh, let's see, what else? Mm, I don't know. That's almost about it, but there it is all in one little story there, what happened, and... Uh, they figured that it was the Freemasons. They said that a long time ago and stuff, but how did everything else happen? Well, it's just like the things of today, like Charles Manson, Jeffrey Dahmer, and several others are not real. Bonnie and Clyde, they were uh, intersexed also. Um, everything is made up. Most, most of the stuff we hear is made up. Uh, somebody said Ted Bundy that they knew um, the town that his crimes happened in I don't know I don't know um, you know it's hard to make out some of the stuff we do what we can do but I say the case is closed later I may do it with uh, I bring up their names and pictures and stuff but there's so many videos out here about it if you want to hear more about uh, Jack the Ripper murders then you can, you know, look uh, yourself, look up the videos, and you can learn all about the people um, that died. Uh, the last one was Mary Jane Kelly. Well, I think there was a few others, too, that were not mentioned in there. But Mary Jane Kelly, they found her in her little room, and her all of her flesh was filleted off of the bone, even her face. Okay, well, medical students, if they're studying the muscle and everything, they will do that. Yeah. Um, I think it's just the medical students, after they were killed realistically, ritualistically, if I said that right. Um, yeah. Was that flesh consumed? <laughs> There's a great possibility with what we know goes on nowadays. It probably was. But... Like I said, the medical students study all that stuff and know how to dissect a body properly uh, with the 
you know, scalpel and stuff. So all these people that they said that they think did it, this one, that one, and everybody, no, no. Sir William Gull, the Freemason, yeah, his mind was going, but he was still a Freemason. So he was still able to carry out that. But he did not work alone. I mean, he had the medical students that, you know, this was their thing to get into the club. They had to, probably they abducted the women also. They abducted the women. They took them some other place where they were murdered. And I believe the college students were all a part of it. Yeah, to get into the Freemasons, they would have to do such a thing. Okay, guys, there is Jack the Ripper solved after all this time. And that's it. Case closed.